And uh, podcasting, of course, is a concatenation of iPod and broadcasting. And what is podcasting? You know, it's been described a lot of different ways. Um, one way has been uh, TiVo for radio. You can download radio shows and listen to them on your computer or put them on your iPod anytime you want. So it's just like television programs on TiVo. And that's true. Another way it's been described is Wayne's World for radio, um, <laughs> which means that anyone uh, without much capital investment can make a podcast, put it on a server, and get a worldwide audience for their radio show. And that's true, too. Um, we see it as the hottest thing going in radio, hotter than anything else in radio. And as you know, what podcasting is, is that you can not only download radio shows and listen to them, you can subscribe to them. So that every time there's a new episode, it automatically gets downloaded to your computer. You can listen to it there, or it automatically gets synced to your iPod the next time you dock your iPod. So it's very, very exciting. And um, there are over 8,000 podcasts now, and this is growing really, really fast. So that's pretty exciting. Now, it's not just amateurs doing these things, though. These 8,000 are not all amateurs, but the pros have realized that this is huge. And here's just a list of some of the companies doing podcasts now. All the major radio broadcasters, the network broadcasters, major magazines, major newspapers, even major companies like Disney and Procter and & Gamble and Ford and General Motors. So it's pretty exciting. And so what we're doing is we're going to make this even easier because you're not going to have to go download other applications and get all sorts of stuff together to make this happen. We're going to build it right in to iTunes and iPod. So you can subscribe to any podcast and we're going to, uh, to make it really easy. And so right into iTunes, very simple. But one of the most important things is how do you find these podcasts? You want people typing URLs into iTunes? Well, they could do that, but we're also going to build right into the iTunes Music Store an iPod or a podcast directory so that we're going to list thousands of podcasts and you'll be able to click on them, download them for free, and uh, subscribe to them right in iTunes. So I'd just like to give you a quick peek of what this is going to look like. Let me bring up iTunes here. And I'm going to go to the uh, podcast homepage. And this is the podcast directory. And uh, we're going to list, again, thousands of podcasts. Let's just go ahead and listen to one. Uh, we can go to one here. This is Adam Curry. He's one of the inventors of podcasting. And you could listen to his... Uh, Source code episode 187. So you could listen to an episode here, but it's much more interesting to subscribe to the podcast. And we've now subscribed to Adam Curry's podcast. It's flipped us up to this podcast thing right in the source list. It's downloaded the most recent one. If I want to download another one, I can just push a button and go download uh, one of the older episodes. And I can listen to an episode. Daily source code, episode 187. Something remarkable is happening here. Radio is springing free of the regulated gatekeepers who've managed what you can hear since radio was invented. It's jumping into the hands of anyone at all with something or nothing to say. With 16 million dollars worth of airplanes strapped to my ass. <laughs> to the next generation radio content in my... Okay. Uh, so, let me give you another one. Uh, Adam's great. This is... Um, this is KCRW. Uh, this is a show called The Treatment. They're a, a public radio station in L.A. So let me go ahead and subscribe to The Treatment. And uh, again, uh, here's another one. I can close this one if I want to. And let's go listen to The Treatment. This podcast of The Treatment is a production of KCRW Santa Monica at 89.9 FM and webcasting at KCRW.com. From KCRW in Santa Monica, this is The Treatment. So you get the idea. These are really cool. Some are amateur and some are pro. Uh, one more I want to just highlight. Uh, we're going to do one ourselves because we have New Music Tuesdays when we put new music on the iTunes Music Store. So we decided to do a podcast. This is just a, a test. But uh, you can subscribe to that and, um, you know, get... Uh... And the nice thing about this one is as we scrub along, you'll see that the artwork changes too. Right? And you can go to different chapters in this thing. You can go right to different chapters. Toby Keith is like the god of Molly Curie keeps reinventing herself. So very, very simple.
and we think it's going to basically take podcasting mainstream to where anyone can do it and uh, really easy to find these podcasts, really easy to listen to them. So we're very excited about this and it's going to be one more way in which iPod and the iTunes digital music community are really at the forefront of this stuff, bringing the innovation into the marketplace. Now I'd like to give you uh, a little update on Mac. Mac is doing really well right now. And let me start off with just some figures. If we look at growth rates, these are year over year unit growth rates for the last five quarters ending in March. Uh, and if we look at the PC market, uh, the growth has slowed down a little bit from just under 20% five quarters ago to just over 10% today. This is again year over year growth rates in terms of unit ship. But let's look and see how the Mac's done in the same period. Look at this. Nine months ago, the Mac took off in terms of growth rates and it grew over 40%. So last quarter, the Mac grew at over three times the rate of the rest of the industry, and we're pretty excited about that. And the most important thing, of course, happening in the Mac is Mac OS X Tiger. I hope all of you are using it. We shipped it recently. I'm sure you're all using Spotlight, Dashboard. We've shipped H.264 based QuickTime 7. And as a matter of fact, today, we're previewing QuickTime 7 on Windows, so you'll be able to download that later on today, so Windows users as well can get the best digital video in the world. You know, we've shipped over a billion copies of QuickTime during its lifetime. Over a billion copies. And now QuickTime 7 with H.264 is available on Macs and a preview release today on Windows. You've seen the new Mail with instant searching in it. We've seen Safari with instant RSS access built right